and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I thought I would give you a look at all of the curriculum that we are using in term four of 2020. So it's our last term before our Christmas and summer holidays. Um, so let me get in and show you. First off, now a lot of this um, is just curriculum that I have already shown you um, that we have been using throughout the year and basically we'll just be finishing it on off uh, this term. So for Bible, we are reading from the story for kids. Uh, we have got a few more weeks left um, to go on this book. I do have a video um, sh uh, sharing with you how I use this book and how we do Bible study. And I'll throw a card um, up the top if you'd like to have a look at that video. So we're going to finish reading from the story for kids. And we also, also sorry, watch super books and episodes that go along with what we're reading from that. And then as we get closer to Christmas, um, we're going to uh, read this book again, um, Unwrapping the Greatest Gift by Anne Voskamp. Uh, we used this last year um, and we are going to uh, just use it basically every year. So we will use this uh, for Christmas time. Okay. For history, um, we have... A lot for history. Uh, we love um, history in our house. We have been reading The Story of the World uh, Volume 2 this year um, and I think I have 12 lessons uh, left so I might have to do actually a couple of uh, a week. Uh, so we really enjoy this. Um, so I, uh, this is the read aloud book and then I also have I like the guide that goes with it that has um, like map work and activities and dictation passages and discussion questions um, as well. But I haven't printed it off. I actually just use it uh, on my computer and just print off the mapping pages um, as we need them. And I just read the questions and things from the computer. So Story of the Worlds, uh, Volume uh, 2, The Middle Ages. Uh, we uh, have been using these History Now workbooks. I have one for each of my kids. Uh, for Cruz, who's in pre-primary, he's actually finished his already. Um, but Emily still has hers um, and William is still working uh, through his. So we will finish these off um, this term. Um, my daughter really enjoys workbooks. Um, so she has really liked these. And these are just another great kind of um, literacy um as well lesson as well because um it's often um like a close like reading the information and answering the questions um but basically that'll cover all of the uh, things they kind of need to know um for their age group because it is um aligned with the australian curriculum and then this is my son who's in grade six um this is his this is a little bit more heavier information um, but this is really good because it had like government stuff in there as well um, for him, which he needs to know um, at his age. So we will finish those um, off as well. And then we're still working through um, our sunburnt country uh, with our homeschool friends. I think we will be able to finish this off uh, this term. So we do this every uh, Friday uh, with our friends. So we'll be able to finish this off um, in term four as well. For geography, geography is another subject that we really like in our house. Um, we'll be able to finish off this. We've been working on this all year, Discover Down Under, which is Australian geography for kids. Uh, we've been using this uh, with our homeschool friends as well. Um, so we'll be able to finish this off this term. And then at home with me, we are just going to um, use these uh, two books just for some uh, fun geography lessons basically uh, this term. So I have a uh, flip through of this book, I Love the World. Um, I'll again, I'll throw a card up the top for you if you'd like to have a look inside. This is a beautiful book uh, that I picked up from Kmart and so I will just basically read through this probably mainly with my younger two um, and um, probably focusing, yeah, just on, they have like the continents here. Um, and so we will just basically read through um, the pages um, and we'll watch some YouTube videos on anything that interests us. So if there's an animal on here we don't know much about and the children want to know more about it, we'll basically uh, look for some more information on the animal, uh, look on YouTube, maybe do a notebooking page 
um, things like that. Um, so yeah, we'll just work our way um, through this book. And my son, he, my oldest son, who is in grade six, he'll actually enjoy this as well. He enjoys the research bit about going and finding the YouTube videos and finding out um, more information about the animals. So he, he will enjoy that too. So we'll use that. Um, and then just this um, alongside it as well. So as we read a continent in here, so this is the Osborne sticker pictures atlas of the world um, so it comes with all these um, stickers and then um, it, we you basically go through the map um, reading about the different uh, interesting things about <laughs> that continent and then you find uh, the stickers um, to stick on there so my uh, little kiddos will really enjoy that just something totally fun um, for them to do so that's for geography um, at home with us now for science we're doing several different things we're using a good and the beautiful unit we're using the energy unit um, and I don't have that printed off because again I only print off as I go so I keep it on my computer and I read from there or I print off any pages that, that I need to as I'm going um, so we're using the good and the beautiful the energy unit and um, we do that with our homeschool friends too and then um, uh, also, I'd also like to note, when we do things with our homeschool friends, we all have um, purchased a copy of the book. Um, so, um, so like, purchased our own curriculum. So, we're not kind of purchasing one curriculum and then um, using it for everyone. Like, we've actually, um, like, a couple of us have purchased things um, so that we're not going against copyright laws. Just thought I would say that. Okay, so for science at home, um, my son, who's in grade six... Um, is working through um, this book again I just got it um, because it is Australian curriculum aligned and then I just know I'm kind of covering all the things um, that he needs to um, cover in this age group so he's working through that and then uh, we're doing this as a read aloud the Burgess um, bird book um, this is a a cl classic living book where Charlotte Mason style uh, homeschool so um, I will be reading aloud um, to my children from this book um, and this will cover science for my little kids um, as well so that's what we're doing for science and then for art, I'm going to have a big focus kind of on art this term, um, just because we love doing art and why not? So last term we were working through learning about William Shakespeare, um, who is an, obviously not an artist, but we're going to finish this off anyway. So we're working through William Shakespeare. Um, so we've nearly finished this book um, and then we've got some plays to read um, from this book. I do have a... Uh, flip through of this again I'll throw a card up for you if you're interested in having a look at that and then we have some activities that will go along with that like writing a biography on William Shakespeare um, and things like that so we we'll, uh, we started this last term but we will finish this off this term and then uh, finishing off Leonardo da Vinci as well so we have already finished uh, reading uh, this who was book and then we have a bunch of um, activities that are like stem activities um, that we have yet to um, complete um, so um, so these things I think I've done a video for this as well so I've put a card up for you to have another look at the activities that we're going to be doing so we're going to work through those um, this term um, and then I also got our art book out again. We've been using this just a couple of terms. We don't do this every term. Um, so we had a break from this last term. So I've pulled this out and for term four, we'll finish off doing um, some art lessons um, from this book. Again, I have a flip through um, of this book for you that you can um, have a look at if you would like to have a closer look inside. Uh, but we'll be doing a couple of lessons um, a week from uh, this uh, Evermore How to Teach Art to Children book as well. For maths and literacy, our main programs that we use are actually online. So for maths, we use uh, mathsonline.com.au uh, and we really love that. Uh, so my older two uh, use this, my grade six and my grade two. Um, and we have loved this program and we're going to continue to use that. Um, my daughter, uh, who's in grade two, has finished all of the set work 
um, on uh, for grade two on the computer. And so I just went into her results and had a look at um, anything that she might need a little bit of work on. Um, and I discovered that she probably needed a little bit more work on time and money. Um, so I have these books um, that somebody gave me. They weren't using them and asked if I would like them. Um, and I said, yes. So this is something that I already have, um, which is Mathletics. And this is the time and money book. Um, for um for her age group <laughs> um and so um yeah so we're going to work through uh some of these sheets um together this term focusing uh, more on time and money um and my son will be continuing to use maths online um and then for literacy we use uh literacyplanet.com um, and so we're quite happy with that. So we will continue to use that. My grade six and my grade two student use this one. And then Crew, who is, um, why do I keep saying, I notice I keep saying student, <laughs> children. I think I say student because I'm so used to, um, I, I was a teacher. Um, and so yeah, in my videos, I've noticed that, that I always say student, but I do mean my beautiful children. Uh, so Sorry for that little <laughs> side note. Cruz, who is five years old and in pre-primary, he actually uses Reading Eggs um, for his literacy program and Math Seeds, which is on here as well, uh, for, um, for his maths program. I am so happy with Reading Eggs. We, uh, he really enjoys it and I think it's an excellent program. So we're going to continue um, using our uh, reading eggs with him next year as well. So they are the online programs that we use for math and literacy. Okay, so there you have it. There are all the resources uh, that we are using for term four here in uh, 2020. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. That will really help me out. Um, and if you have any other videos that you would love for me to film, anything that you're interested in taking a closer look at of any of the resources that I've shown you or how I use them or anything else, uh, just leave a comment down in the description box and I will see if I can make um, content for you that you're really wanting to watch. Again, thanks for watching my video today and I'll see you next time. Bye.